All right, guys, let's get into it. Business credit. Number one, credibility. Your business credibility is your business's character, okay? So this is how banks and lenders and business credit bureaus look at you and your business to determine whether you're legit, all right? Too many business owners are operating in a way where, from the perspective of the lenders and credit bureaus, your business is a hobby, right? And it's basically how you dress up your business, how you, what the business looks like from the outside without digging into the numbers or the credit, but just on the surface, okay? So there's, there's 10 data points that they look at, right? Your business name is no, number one, right? So when you're starting a business, you wanna find a business name. It's a lot of us like to use our name in our business, and you can, right? Not a good idea, but you can. Um, you you um, also may not wanna use your industry. You might wanna keep it sp uh, not so sp uh, specific to a, an industry. Use a name that's a little less specific, more vague, right? Because there's something which is one of the, another data point, which is your um, industry code, okay? So certain banks are gonna look at your different industry codes differently, and they're not gonna wanna lend. So for example, if you're a real estate investor and you wanna secure a loan from a bank, a lot of banks are not gonna lend for real estate investing, right? but they may lend for real estate consulting. Very a simple difference in the industry code, okay? So there's a lot of industry codes, and um, you know, for everyone being here today, I'm gonna give everybody access to this data list with the resources so you can verify your business and make sure that you're credible, okay? So number one is the business name. Number two is your, your web presence, right? Your web presence, meaning your, your website address, your domain name, right? Your email address is very important. And, um, and um, just basically, you're using, if you're using Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, you can use that to make money. That's fine, right? But when you're presenting yourself to a bank, do you see any Fortune 500 companies using Yahoo or Gmail? No, they're not. It's very simple. A domain name is between 10 to $20, right? Um, the email is going to cost you, what, $5 maybe, maybe less, $2 a month to get an email account. So, for example, Business Credit 101, info at Business Credit 1, right? Seb at Business Credit 101. So when I apply, apply to a bank, I'm not going to put my Gmail, I'm going to put the business domain name email. That tells the bank this is a serious business owner. This is not someone who's treating this as a hobby, all right? Um, I have to have a website, and on my website, I need to have my email. I need to have my business phone number, which is the next point, is your business's phone number, right? So a lot of us are using our personal cell phone. And you can, again, you, you can make money without doing these things. But if you wanna be credible in the eyes of a bank or a lender, you wanna set these things up properly.